Okay, so there's been a bit of a development with an older console called the Xbox 360. I never experienced the generation of Xbox 360, but I've played the backwards compatible games on the Xbox One and series that I actually liked, like Red Dead Redemption, GTA 4, the older Call of Duties like World at War, stuff like that. I played it. Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2. I played them all. But the storefront for the Xbox 360 has shut down, which is actually kind of a good thing, but it's kind of sad at the same time for people who live through it, you know, the nostalgia. But what I mean, what I'm meaning to say is you can now bu still buy the games. You can still play with other people, you know, and you just can't buy them digitally, which is actually better that, that it's shut down because... Those games were still almost full price, even though the console was well, like, 11 years out of date. Well over a decade out of date. So, yeah, that's good that it shut down, but it's sad. And, you know, I understand the feelings. There's mixed feelings behind it. Because those games are absolutely too expensive to be on the Xbox 360. You know, they're still $50, some of them. Like, that is that is just ludicrous so now you can buy xbox 360 games for just a few dollars a piece you know not so yeah it's pretty good but it's just it's kind of weird you know i have mixed feelings too of course the xbox 360 games that were taken off the xbox 360 are still on the xbox one and series s and x because their storefronts are going to be around for a whole nother generation at least so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this news segment, and it is hot outside, I'm going in.